Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most invaluable tools you have at your disposal, four star citizen, and we're getting started right now. All right. So the tool that I kind of wanted to show you guys is called DPS calculator. Now this is such a valuable tool. Um, a big thank you to the guys that actually built this website. Um, it, it, it is, it is so good. Um, so essentially what it is, is it, it allows you to, um, do ship build outs without even being in a PU, right? So if you want to do a test, um, in terms of, um, how your the, the kinds of damage or how your ship can perform, you can, you can do essentially do that before, um, before actually having to go into the pu and and do it that way you know um what to expect all right so for example um let's say um so essentially it's a very um easy to understand website there's a calculator feature there's a shops feature which i'll show you probably in another video um there's also a hanger feature um but essentially what i wanted to do in this video real quick is give you an understanding of what the calculator is and why you i think everybody should use it all right so um let's say we go in and select the ship for example um let's 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 select an avenger titan for example right an avenger titan so it'll give you the weapons it'll give you the missile racks it'll give you the shields it give you the power plants coolers q drive um paints i guess are not in right now and your thrusters right so it essentially gives you everything um in terms of what you can um modify all your components right including weapons and then you have your power um distribution here just to see how it performs with these things um in place it also gives you details about the item you have selected so right now it's the avenger item uh, titan which is uh what we have currently selected and what's so valuable about it is it'll even tell you where you can actually find one to buy one right and on right here on the right hand side you could uh see uh the details in terms of the the ship stats um based on what you have equipped here right you have your weapons your turrets uh, missile damage that you could dish out the um your shielding um shield regeneration all of this is here e even the 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 special um features that come along with the ship right um like like your um resistance to damage or energy damage and things of that nature all right so um just to give you a quick example of what you how to use this thing um so right now the avenger titan has a size 4 mount in the front what we can do is let's say if i don't want to go with a um the, the size 4 mount i want to i want to use a size 4 um for example attrition right so we'll select that and it gives you the burst DPS and, and all that, right? So you can actually select which one you want. So I want to go with attrition, a size four attrition, right? Um, and then it gives you, you know, the sustained damage DPS you get for it. You know, um, it gives you the amount that, uh, how much ammo you have in terms of the capacitors and uh, things of that nature, you know? And it gives you, um, so, so let's move on to the next one. Right, let's say I want uh, mantises on it, you know, I want to do mantises on them, right? So uh, one attrition and two and two mantises, right? Um, we weapons, right? You can you can decide in terms of uh, missiles, you can decide to select different missile racks, for example, and then you get different options, right? Based on the missile rack that you actually select, you get more, you get uh, different options, right? So it is uh very 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 good you know you get to build out your ship without actually having to deal with uh what is this this blue display info what is that it doesn't really do anything all right that's fine oh you know what oh so when you click here the display info on each component it will actually give you the details of it here very very good this is perfect it wasn't like this before this is a new update updated ui they've done and it's beautiful it works very well um power plants right i mean shields right so you can go in and select whatever shields you want you know build it out and as you see as you select these things you can see that the stats of the ship changes right you can see 
you can see all this is, is updated automatically as you're, you're making these changes, right? So let's say you're going for a different power plant, right? It'll tell me uh, this JS300, where I can get it, the stats on it, you know, and then how it affects everything else in terms of power distribution. You know, your coolers, you know, um, let's say we go to EcoFlows, right? It gives you this amount of cooling and, and things of that nature. So it is such an invaluable tool. Um, it's really, really good. Your Q drive, very, very good to go. You know, it'll tell you um, in terms of Q drive, how how long it'll take you to get to uh, from Crusader to Hurston, you know, five minutes with uh, with an Atlas, right? Five minutes and 23 seconds with an Atlas from Microtech to Art Corp is eight minutes and 21 seconds. So good. All right, let's see, see if we switch this to something else, you know, and uh, you should see I think it did change a little bit. I think five minutes. Let's just try something else here. Seven minutes and 14 seconds, right? It updates it automatically. And it's, uh, or you can even do your own custom. This is really, this is an added feature. This is definitely an added feature. You know, to go 50 kilometers, a uh, million kilometers, you're looking at uh, uh, 10 minutes and 36 seconds to, to jump in that, 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 that kind of distance, right? Another great feature is um sorry i clicked the wrong thing another great feature is a power distribution right so as you you can adjust this right and, and you can see the numbers are changing in terms of how where you're distributing power right so for example pay attention to the weapons how the ammo load as you do your power distribution you can get more ammo more dps um as you're adjusting that right and look at your shielding um the shields right if you put more into shields you get less uh less time for it to fully charge right which is how it should work right right now it's at 10 seconds uh for this one for the palisade look at that when i put full distribution look at that three set 3.8 seconds right so it is such a beautiful tool man uh kudos to the guys that did this um you guys check it out the link to this website is in the description below right if you want to see more content in terms of how how to fully uh utilize this or or more more detailed uh deep dives on this uh let me know in the comments below subscribe if you haven't already leave a like on this video share this video as well right i will see you